was on the window. Cat has infiltrated the windshield from the outside. Starting off with a little hydration today, unlike yesterday, where I think I got dehydrated yesterday. Starting off with a couple Gatorades, just to get the nourishment going inside the store. And inside here, at the counter, they were selling weird car parts made into clocks. Welcome everyone, Adam the Woo here. I'm in Indiana Beach. My sister is getting her pass. We're gonna ride some rides, eat some food, do some stuff, and not only hang out with my sister, but I also brought, if I can find him, I brought another special friend right here. That's right. That's right here. Come on. He's never been to Indiana Beach, so this will be his first time through those gates. Indiana Beach. Look at this. By the way, it's my second channel, Daily Vlog Channel. It's, you know what it is? The Daily Woo. That's pretty good. You have a better voice than I do. I think their mascot here is this crazy crow. The crazy crow is everywhere out here. That crazy crow. And huge tiki heads. Look at that fence below me. I'm protected by, wait a second. The fence is gone. What's happening here? We're going into the air. I always love these old sky rides. You don't see them at many amusement parks anymore. I don't know if it's a safety concern because basically all of our body weight, every inch and ounce of our body weight is in one compartment being held on. Look at this. This, this right here is what's holding us up in the air. <laughs> it's kind of terrifying, right? It's a lot of body weight. Well, oh, they have a boat down there too. Can we ride the boat? I want to ride it. The kid on the end there, the kid right there, drinking like the Slurpee or whatever, he's stoked. He is so stoked on the boat ride. Look at it. He needs some company down there. You need some company, big guy? You need some company? I don't know if this is a good sign or not, but the guy is holding the Sky Coaster sign. Is this safe for us to be riding? Is he being closed down right now while we're on it? And here we have the world's fastest carousel ever. Man. I don't know if you can handle the momentum of that thing. I think, oh, it's it's picking up pace now. It's picking up pace. <laughs> it starts off slow. When this baby hits 88 miles per hour, you're gonna see some serious carousel. Inside the store, it says no food or drink, which is kind of, kind of hypocrisy, if you ask me, because they sell this crazy rock candy, which could be classified as food. I was eating it inside. You're such a rule breaker. You think Heisenberg would eat this? There's really no way to look cool eating one of these things. <laughs> it's just kind of like one of those things you're just like, hey, what's going on? <laughs> hey, how you doing? Ready to ride the Ferris wheel? Are you sure you ride this thing? Oh Whoa, it's making the weirdest noise. No, no, not this. The Ferris wheel is making the weirdest noise. Going up. Up we go. Get a pretty good view of the entire property. Oh, look at that. Oh, that's the ultimate angle. You can see all the little buckets above me there going up. If you're gonna take a photo or a video on a Ferris wheel, where do you think the proper spot would be for the best photo? Maybe that way? These are just random questions. Someone's on the sky coaster right there. And we are on the swings. Have to go swing over the water. Normally swings have like one clamp. This one has this weird secondary clamp, which makes you really realize things about yourself. As in, maybe I should probably have not eaten that sugary candy stick. <laughs> hey, it's moving. It's moving. The thing that's unique about this one is it goes over the water. So we're honestly gonna be teetering over the waterway. The breeze feels pretty good though. Whoa, what was that? Sorry, it like kind of buckled there for a minute. Kind of terrifying. This feels nice though, the wind feels, whoa. I'm leaning for, it shifts. Oh my gosh. This is honestly kind of scary. This is, this is honestly a little bit scary. This is, whoa my gosh, <laughs> the whole thing's shifting. I've never been on one that shifts like this. <laughs> oh my, holy cow, look at this thing. What the heck? The whole top of this thing is, the whole top of this thing is shifting. What, what the? The whole thing is like, I'm gonna lose my law. I'm gonna lose my mind right on this thing. What the? Oh my gosh. What did we get ourselves into? Oh my gosh. I can't even. Oh my god. 
Oh my, what the heck is this? Now I know why this got this weird like horse harness. This weird horse harness on us. This is the most terrifying swing I've ever been on. Oh my gosh, I cannot even enjoy this. I've been on a lot of swings in my day in amusement parks. Yeah. This is the scariest one. Right? You didn't tell me it was gonna shift like it was well, like yeah, an earthquake it going up. back and forth. Yeah. Yeah, you're right. Never again. Everybody's like, no. Yeah, no. it doesn't look like much That's till you go on it. I've been wanting to do this for a while, and now it's gonna happen. It's time. Of course, this will probably remind you of another attraction at another theme park, except on these. There is no amphibious creature. Wait a second, is a frog an amphibious creature? Yeah. Then there is no amphibious creatures on this. And these run off of gas. They have to fill them up with those gas tanks every morning and night to get them to operate. There seems to be some sort of emergency in one of the vehicles. Maybe it ran out of gas. Oh, we're adding, we're adding a guest into the car mid-ride. Hashtag things you never see at another amusement park. Feel the gas-powered goodness of Indiana Beach. This guy's really curious about what's down there. What's down there? What's down there? My phone. Oh, that guy dropped his phone in the water. That's no fun. Now, I cannot take credit for this. But when I was out here a week or two ago, I didn't ride this. I filmed it from the air looking down. Someone left a comment. I do not know who you are, but it was the greatest comment ever. Someone said, Mr. Toad's mild ride. I think that's hilarious. So credit to you, whoever you are. Mr. Toad's mild ride. Oh, wait, we do have some theming here. We do have some thing. We have ice chest and we have blue tarp. Ah, and dumpster here. Wow. Man, that's good stuff. This is kind of cool though. You go over the waterway down here. I gotta, I know, I gotta make sure I hold on to my phone. I kind of feel really bad for that guy over there though. He lost his phone in the water. Maybe this isn't him. Maybe this isn't him. Whoa, he is going. He's taking his pants off and going in the water. I'm not even kidding. Look at this. This gentleman is taking his pants off and going inside the water to get his phone. Indiana Beach. You would not see that at any other theme park. He's submerging himself in the water. That guy really wants his phone back. He got it. He got it. Holy cow, he got his phone back. Look at that. Awesome. This brings back very painful memories of Knott's Berry Farm. I don't really like these, but we're gonna do it. There's some sort of weird brown stain next to me. I don't know if that's a safe, but... Whoa, we're going up. We're going up. Oh, I don't like these. I wasn't even gonna ride this and you got in line. <laughs> You're just, I'm like, oh, oh, oh. You can feel it in the belly. Now I know where that brown stain's there. Oh my God. <laughs> oh, I can't handle that. It feels like your stomach is still up there. Hold on. Oh my gosh, oh my gosh, oh my gosh. Oh. There is something very unappealing about that feeling. I like it. You like it? Yep. Here's the layout of the entire property. You can see the waterway over here, and then it kind of goes around. It's almost like a, it's not quite an island, it's a peninsula. Isn't that what they call an island that has land on one side? One of the prizes they have here at the game area is a huge stalk of corn. Well, not a stalk of corn, but a piece of corn. Is he gonna make it? Is he gonna make it? I was never good at these kind of games. Is he gonna make it? Nope. I just now realized what the name of that crazy crow is. I.B. Crow was here. And not only can you tell from the inscription he wrote in a Sharpie, but also his footprints. That is one cool hot dog. Getting all the ladies. A quick little snack here, some nachos and cheese, and more hydration, more Gatorade. Look at the little guy that's here advertising the elephant ears. Isn't he weird looking? What is it supposed to be? And is that an elephant ear or a hot dog? 
very confusing. Ah, come on, get me out of here. Come on. Ah. Goodbye, IB Crow. What a weird name for a mascot. Indiana Beach for today is coming to an end. It's a pretty cool place, right on the water. There are old school dark rides. There are like some roller coaster -y type things. Some of them were not open. There's a Ferris wheel. There is the terrifying swing. And we had some nachos for a snack. We rode the Sky Coaster Skyline. And of course, Mr. Toad's Mild Ride. How's that theme song go? There's more than corn in Indiana. Is there a versus to that or is it just the chorus? Walmart has a table set up dedicated to Pokemon Go. And it's right when you walk in the main entrance Pokemon's taking over. They have the regular boiled peanuts. Do you like the uh, hot and spicy one? I've never honestly tried them I because know. I love the regular one so much. I ruin a good thing. I know, right? And they used to come in a smaller package. Now it's a little bit larger. They used to have a huge gargantuan cylinder of them. Then they used to have a regular size can about this size. But I guess too many people like the bigger the size. size. You're right, yeah, the other size was that big. How many cans did you get? I can only hold four. Four cans. Should I get a couple? Sure. I'll get a couple too. So we're getting six total cans. A lot of people have never heard of boiled peanuts. Basically boiled peanuts are just regular peanuts that are boiled and they're soggy and they're salty and they're oh so good. Someone has a very sick, twisted, demented mind here at this Walmart. They are trying to smush this bunny through the food saver. Time to catch some fireflies. I gotta take the top off, hold on. The sunset looks incredible. Look at that. It's like fire sky almost. It's beautiful. I have not caught one firefly, but my sister right here has found like 20 of them. You're the firefly master. How many do you think you got so far? Eight. You did eight. That's pretty good compared to my Two, zero. Three, four, five, six, seven. Pretty good. It's just getting too dark. I waited too late. Because once the fireflies turn off their like fire on their tuchuses, I guess the isn't that the rear end of the firefly that lights up that lights up the sky? Once they turn off, they blend into the darkness. You can't see them anymore. But look, they're all out there. See them barely. If you look closely. If you look really closely, you can see the fireflies out there. They're out there. They're out there. <laughs> wow. The holes are too big in here. Are they coming out of the holes? A couple of them come out. I poked the holes too. They're trying to escape. Shawshank redemption style. There you go. Pretty cool. I love fireflies. I don't know what it is about fireflies that are really cool. Go free, fireflies. Go free. Light up the world. You are the light of the world. Being discarded from the back bottom of a pickle jar. <laughs> Go ahead now. <laughs> dilled. It's dilled fireflies. There they go. Man, it's always fun hunting down fireflies out here. I found zero. My sister found nine. I'm a failure. 